try me, you know you will get dealt I know that I'm the best, that's why I'm feeling myself Competition, I be giving up hell I'm focused, I'm focused, yeah Close the coffin and just put in a nail And if you're up against me, then you're gonna need help You can run and hide, but who you gonna tell? I'm focused, I'm focused, yeah Yo, what's happening, YouTube family? AI the Mutt Mechanic coming to you live on behalf of the Foreign L Nation. And we're going to go into Coin Making Tips version 2. So this is something that you can add to your coin making rotation. Something you might want to check for every day. Something that I check for every day just to make a couple of thousand coins every day to you know just to build that coin bank so we can get the cars that we want and the cars that we need so I, I think the, the the first tip that I told you guys was was jerseys right so you know some select jerseys uh, sell for more than others so on this tip this is a secret but it works on this tip what we're going to look at is what am I doing first of all <laughs> Uh, we're gonna look at silver cards and what is the value of silver cards silver cards go into a lot of different sets as MVP sets um, also uh, not coins but badge sets a lot of different sets require silver cards so that people are not just holding on the silver cards that they get in the packs and on some of these silver cards go for uh, a good amount like 5 to, to 10k uh, some of them even as high as 20k so right now i see a card that i like which is tony carter yes sir and uh we're gonna put the program to madden 15 base edition so in this iteration we're gonna talk about let's look at corn cornerbacks specifically now i have a list of cornerbacks that i always check to see if they're going for pretty cheap because they sell for pretty high as you just seen i took the um tony carter and let's see, Tony Carter is going for about, look at that people, he's going for about six to seven K. And I bought Tony Carter as low as 150, 250, because people don't really know the value of some of these silver cards. And they're just, a lot of people, even including myself, when I started and I would get these silver and bronze cards, I'll just quickly quick sell them. I'll put them on an the auction block for pennies on a dollar, not really understanding that these cards went into sets. So hopefully I can get this Tony Carter card and I'll sell them for about 55, 65 K and he'll sell. Because I think Tony Carter goes into one of the uh, elite elite sets, and people are still building sets to this day. So that's one card you guys can look at. I'll give you, I'll give you, I'll give you three, just because I'm feeling generous today. Sun is out; it's no longer cold. So that's one card. Let's go to another one. Uh, let's look at the Bears. So look at this. Look at this. Uh, Kyle Fuller. Kyle Fuller goes for about. He'll sell for about five to fifty-five. He won't sell this high, for sure. So Kyle Fuller and Kelvin Hayden for the Bears. If you can get these cheap, um, it might take them a day or two to sell, but they'll definitely it'll definitely add to your coin vault if you can sell them. I usually if I if I see them for about five hundred or thousand k, I'll pick them up. Uh, other than that, I'll never spend this much on a Kyle Fuller because there's no point in spending that much when the person that's putting it into a set really doesn't want to spend that much from the get-go. And that's not really a huge profit for me to, be, to for me to invest in. Anyway, so we'll give you the third one. Number three. Let's see. Who can I give you? Falcons. All right. So right now you have Alfred. He's going for about 500k. And I'll, I mean, I said 500k. 500 coins. I'll buy him and I'll put him up for about, you know, he's, he he goes into the silver package and he's kind of hard to find. So I'll sell him for about, let's put him up for about 12 hours. Sell him for about 38. Now he might sell, he might not sell. I think a lot of a lot of them do sell. As you can see, the price is here. Um, I might even just bid on this one just because I don't think anyone's paying attention. If, he, if, I, if I get it, I get it. If I don't, I don't. Kudos to the person that does get them. But yeah, I've had, I sold a couple of these for about 45, 52, 100K. So, 
silver cards, people. And there's a lot. I have a I have a, a whole big list of silver cards that um that I'm gonna put in one of the ebooks, the silver ebooks card for you guys to um, purchase on the website. It'll be fourthalong.com, the website that I'm working on currently. But uh yeah. I just gave you three cards that you guys can check for whenever you hit the auction block to kind of check the prices and see if you want to invest. And that's a quick way to make 20 to 25K additional a day, depending on the type of silver cards you get. So that's been my time. I'm AI, the Month Mechanic, giving, to, giving you coin making tips number two. Be sure to combine this with coin making tips number one to kind of maximize your profitability on making coins on a, on a daily basis. So I think the first coin tip that I net you about 15 to 20K, this one can net you about 10 to 15K. So you're at 30, 30 coins a day with relatively uh, less effort. So that's it for this commentary and this tip. I'll holler at you guys and gals on the next video, 131, and I'm out.